What's up, gang? We got a quick viewer question. I figured it's easier to just do a video. Uh, there are plenty of videos on this topic, but I'll do one for my channel as well. Um, the question is, how do you discharge an arcade monitor? Well, here, well, before I get in front of the camera and start working, the two tools that you're going to need are a flathead screwdriver. You might want to use a one that's a little longer than this, and this one's fine, though. I don't have any problems with it and some alligator clips and once again you might want something a little longer than this but it works for me i'm not afraid of it all right now let me make sure after i spin this i'm gonna catch myself on all the lighting so the first thing you want to do when you're discharging a monitor is you want to unplug your game As aside from unplugging your game you want to unplug the power to your monitor too. And I just do that just to be safe. Let me make sure we're on camera here. Okay, I can probably zoom in a little bit. So, what you want to do is take one side of your clips and clip it around your screwdriver real good now you want to keep your hand away from this end because electricity is going to be going through there and then you want to take this end and clip it to the frame okay so at this point you should have your game unplugged and your monitor unplugged clip this on your frame this is the anode cup here as long as you stay away from this thing you're fine you know nothing's going to shock you you can carry your monitor around I usually stand behind here, reach around the sides and carry it with the, the glass towards my body. You're fine to do that. Now, once you want to um, actually discharge this, take the flat end of the screwdriver and put it un up underneath the cup and you touch the metal prong that's in there and there'll be a pop. Now, a lot of the newer monitors, they don't, they have a, a self-discharging feature so you won't get a pop, but I still do this anyway. So I had this on last night. I don't know that we'll get a pop, but let's see. Do it underneath here. Okay, no pop. So the next thing is you just want to set this down. Set that down and wait a few minutes. Um, they can and will build up a charge again. And so you don't want to come back and go to take off the anode cup next and then end up getting zapped. It's not as much juice, but it has got me a few times. So all you do is you just wait a few minutes, come back, you do the same thing. You don't want to do that where you gouge at the back of your monitor. And Tap it and make sure you're good to go. And then now I'll show you how to remove the cup real fast. This is going to be a little bit trickier on the camera work. Bear with me just one second. Okay. It's a little grainy. Let me see if I can get a little more light over here. Now I'm not going to be able to get to the, the monitor. Okay. So basically this comes down, it's kind of like in a double J or, you know, like a, a treble hook would be in fishing with two sides and it hooks to the two sides of the monitor and it's kind of springy. So what you want to do is take your flathead screwdriver and push in one side and get it to release out. Uh, it'll make more sense once I get it out of here if you've never seen one. Get one underneath here. And w one thing you don't want to do is touch any metal. So when you're doing this, you want to put your left hand, or if you're doing it left hand, put your right hand in your pocket so you don't touch the frame. Once you get it where you know it's discharged, you're fine to touch the frame and everything. So what I want to do is find that hook. Let me see if I might be able to get right up in there where you guys can see as I do this. 
going to pause this and lower it real fast. I think you'll be able to see from here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is lift this up. And let me find it myself. Hang on one second and I'll get my head out of the way. Okay, so it's straight up there. So I just want to push forward and release it and then it comes out. And so you can see the two little hooks that just hook on either side of that hole. And that gets you going. And when you get done doing your monitor work, um, you also want to come back and discharge it again two times uh, before you go to put a new fly back or put your anode cup back on just in case it built up some uh, some more charge. But even, even then, you, you should be good to go, and that'll get you going. So thanks, JoJo. Hope that answers your question, buddy. And uh, stay tuned for the next one. If you have uh, any viewer questions yourself, uh, send them to maddiemo 78 at gmail.com. And then just put viewer question in the subject line. All right. See you next time. So these two right here are going to be ground and 5 volt. So what do we get here? Did I not turn the game on? I didn't turn the game on. I guess that would help. Hang on. Here it is. A nice little trade. The person I traded got what they wanted. I got what I wanted. And a pretty good deal on it too. So but if I didn't get what I want. <laughs> <laughs> that comes later. Yeah. Okay. It's it's, it's on fire. What happened? Whoa. Lots of smoke. Well, that's bad. Yeah, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> when you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So everyone, please remember that. Even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.